So what are the chances? It's very hard to explain the evolution of our solar system. When you do computer models of solar systems, you don't tend to get four rocky planets to close to the sun and four big gas giants further out. One of the current best theories, and this, I say this because it shows you how lucky we might be, is that Jupiter, they, they tend to form these big gas giants and migrate inwards towards the star. But in almost all the computer simulations, just because you've got this big gas giant orbiting in all the dust around the star, they tend to drop inwards. And it looks like Jupiter did that. So it looks like it formed and came in, and came in almost to where Mars orbits today, and, and cleared out the region around Mars, actually, which is maybe the reason Mars is so small compared to the other, to, to Venus and Earth. But then Saturn was coming in as well. And uh, in the computer models, the interaction between Jupiter and Saturn stops Jupiter coming in before it gets to the Earth. And they both get dragged out again <laughs> and so to where they are today. So what are the chances? The chances of that are so minuscule, like tiny. But you, th that's the thing, I think, about these rocky planets. In order to get a civilization on them, I think you need I guess you need quite unusual solar systems and you need quite unusual stability on the planet for, for billions of years. That's why I think we might be quite lucky.